Oh, yeah, no. these two are camped out waiting for the breakfast, but they're an hour early. I wonder if it is because I'm awake. I'm very pleased to see that Apple Music have finally changed things. So our new music mix actually has bands that I've listened to before and music that I have liked before. Because I didn't used to do that. I used to have to go onto Spotify every week to get new music by people I've already listened to and like or um, to discover new stuff. But that looks like, like all these, well, the top five there, going down there's other bands that I've listened to and liked some of their music so that is good that time they got that kind of right I didn't know how it was how they got it so wrong good morning everyone um just doing some breakfast thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog over the sort of three-day weekend and just film bits and pieces for you Kevin's just adding balsamic vinegar to his breakfast which is so we've got mushrooms and tomato and some spinach on some Turkish bread. office while I was getting that done to pick up some parcels. I don't know whether to walk down or not. I don't know what, if there's anywhere else to turn around down there so I'll just wait here. This building is so tall. Like for Wollongong. <laughs>
love that Mr. Whistler just wanted his bubble tea. Yes. So we've come back into the mall again and we'll just go to the markets again. Oh, they've got it. Oh. Why is there a Santuro set up there? I don't know, but it smells really nice. What are you going to order you? What's in there? Oh, that's the nuts. Sweet, spicy donuts. Oh, they're the, are they the vegan ones? Might be. Kevin wanted his bubble tea. <laughs> so then we'll go back up to the mall and get the nice vegan food. <laughs> Happy Kevin now? Yep. He gets like all the extra mango lobby things. <laughs> yeah. appointments and trip into town just gonna have some lunch Kevin's full of bubble tea this is the funny camera <laughs> yeah Kevin's full of bubble tea so he doesn't want lunch yet so I'm just gonna have some I'm just taking all the rice from one and a bit of the fake chicken and stuff and lots of vegetables and then we'll split the other one and the leftovers of that for dinner you can have some of my donut yeah Kevin bought the vegan donut hits actually for Kevin I didn't I'm trying to eat really healthy, so I didn't want a vegan donut. It's huge. <laughs> I might have a bite or something. But um, yeah, they're, they're both for Kevin. He's got to be carried away, I think, today. No, no wonder he doesn't want his lunch. So I think we're actually, yeah, going to watch a bit of TV now. And then we'll see. Chewy's um, clip is not quite the norm. It's okay, but the more we look at him, I can see, like, you know, like, you can see longer bits of fluff. And on his butt, he's got, like, you can sort of see here. One. I can fit, trim that myself. <laughs> yeah, not quite what the other groomer does, but it was probably a lot less traumatic for him. So, was that better for you? Because you hate going to Glen's. And I don't, he looks like his toenails have been done. So, anyway, that's so what Christy thinks. He does look quite nice. It's just not Glen, the normal groom is so good. So, Code will probably continue to go to him. Because we haven't had the problems, and you can see they're like long fluffs. But that was less traumatic for you, and you didn't have to go away for half the day. We'll see. I think I'll do a better job of your eyebrows. <laughs> You've got lots of fluff on your eyes still, Chew. Keep her up here? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Currently trying to do Kevin's drawers, but he's in a bit of a mood. You can probably tell. Anyway, hopefully he's gonna be a good boy. <laughs> I'll show you his drawers after. Well that was all out of one drawer. I need to dust in here as well. And that's not too bad that drawer. But he just shoves everything in. And he's got too much stuff. <laughs> And I want to make a travel, some travel drawers in him for when he travels. Although we've been tending to travel together lately, my drawer's nearly empty. I must have, when I last time I did that, I must have created an empty drawer because I did it last time. But yeah, you see, we need a bit, a bit of tidying out. Tidying up, kind of bag we can use for rubbish. I have got some, some not so good helpers, some crazy helpers. Don't you jump up on the bed? This man's got the attention span of a flea today. It's a Rosie. And like Rosie's actually playing with it. <laughs> she used to when she was younger, she used to chase it. <laughs> she got knocked down by the young'uns. Oh, poor Rosie. You're going to go and do see your... <laughs> There's still life in the old girl. 15 in a month's time. 
she can still chase the dog. <laughs> Oh my god. I know. Don't make it too dizzy. <laughs> okay, but we're not getting very far with your draw. I just found six ventolins that have expired like years ago. Oh, there's another one there too. Someone's a hoarder. Christy's trying to do schoolwork, darling. Yes. Yep. They're being silly. Oh, have you shuffled stuff back to a pile? Oh. <laughs> that thing, a bit of a disaster with Kevin. And we end up having a bit of a tiff. It's, gosh, does not happen very often. He just was not in the mood to do that. And I should have realised. And just said so we'll leave it for another week. Because he ended up getting in a bit of a huff. And just basically throwing everything out. It's not quite the point. Anyway. Um, he's now gone up to Sydney. I still don't know if he's cranky with me or cranky with himself or what. And anyway. These things happen, I think, in every relationship. We were very really lucky because, like I said, we'll have a little incident like this every couple of years, probably. Uh, <laughs> so, it's not that bad an argument or anything. Just. I think we've upset each other pretty much. So I'm just sitting here working on my puzzle. Got a lot done actually, because I just really wanted something to take my mind off things so I wasn't moping on it. Um, as I said, he's gone now, so I might um, finish up here and go watch some YouTube or something. But I wanted to clean, but now obviously I'm not in the mood to clean. So, don't think I will be. I'll show what I've done anyway. So I've got lots of little bits done today. It's a rather difficult puzzle to work on because it's just, you know, I mean, that's the puzzle. There's so much colour in so many different areas. So it's challenging because you can't get big sections done. But it's, um, yeah, it's been good. I just realised, I don't know if I just knocked that off or if that goes on there. I don't think I had that there a second ago. Go with another piece in. Unless I knocked it. <laughs> That's possible. And I did catch Kent Coder in the action of chewing a piece. He picked it up, that one there. And he went chomp chomp on it. I heard him because he's right beside me. So I had to rescue it, but yeah. And I knew they ate them, but that was my proof. <laughs> I brought the Grudels down to the doggy park. Hello. They're the only ones here at the doggy park, but they're off running around, which is good. <laughs> Lots of little dogs today. In the little dog park area. Go da! Ah, 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 no! Do you have to go in the mud? The one patch of mud that I can see. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Chewy! You guys having fun? <laughs> Lots of puppies, isn't there? Tonight for dinner, we're just having some toasted burritos. I've just got refried beans, some rice, some mixy beans, a bit of corn, tomato, lettuce, and the nacho cheese sauce. And Kevin's got most of that. He doesn't have refried beans and he doesn't have the nacho cheese sauce, but he's got um, grated cheese and some sour cream on top.
Oh, I spoil for your stuff. <laughs> My little precious group. So in the bed together, Kevin. Hmm. You see that? <laughs>